Hey everybody, happy Monday. Boy, that seems weird to say, happy Monday. I don't think I've ever done a Facebook Live on a Monday. It's usually Friday. Hopefully you guys can find some time today to join me for a little bit of stamping. It's day six of my 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives. I've got two new projects for you as well as another prize to give away. Hello, good, I see you guys jumping on. All right, let me share this over to my page. Make sure it's over there, done. All right, so while we're waiting for everybody to join, I thought you guys might like to see some sneak peeks. Would you like to see some sneak peeks? If you notice over here, there's a big giant mess. <laughs> That's because today I am designing for January. Um, I, well, partial December, but mostly January. Hi, Andrea, good to see you guys. Thanks for joining me. I'm good, thanks Jennifer for asking. Um, so today's been a fun day. I'm kind of in between, um, you know, waiting for tomorrow, December 1st, uh, demonstrators get to order from the new January to June mini catalog. Um, it's our pre-order tomorrow, so I'm kind of waiting for that. Uh, I'm, I'm also waiting for a delivery of cardstock that I need to start scoring and cutting. Um, and I need to design for a training that I'm doing next month with my team. And that design work's also gonna carry over into January as either a class or a club, I haven't decided. So I thought maybe you guys would like to see just one little sneak peek, maybe? All right, so remember, this stuff won't be available until January, January 3rd or 4th. Um, unless you buy the starter kit, then you can order it in December. But it's gonna be a fancy fold class using the new um, art, I always want to call it art class, but it's not art class. What's it called? Art. I don't know. I can't remember, but it's cute, isn't it? It's going to be a fancy full class. The paper is gorgeous. Why can't I remember the name? Oh, I have it open right here. Um, Art gallery. Art gallery. That's what it's called. So coming soon. That's one thing I made this morning. And then I thought I would show you guys my Christmas cards. I'm um, not my Christmas cards, my birthday cards for my team for December. I make uh, birthday cards for my team um, every month. And this, for December, I use some of the new product that's coming out in January. We were able to order a little bit of it um, with, a, with our onstage event that we had. Um, so I used some of the paper and one of the new stamps. And this paper is celebration paper. That means it'll be free. The 12 by 12 pack will be free with a $50 order, but not until January. Again, unless you are a demonstrator or you buy the starter kit, and then you can have early access to it. Isn't it cute? I love that paper. Stampin' Up! has done an amazing job with our paper lately. Um, last year's um, celebration paper was awesome too. The black and white, the honeybee paper. Oh my God, it's so, so good. So this year, they have matched their delicious paper from last year. They have done a very good job. But all of that will be coming. I'll be giving you guys more peaks towards the end of December. Um, if you have ordered with me any time in the last year, about, I'll be sending you a mini catalog um, through Stampin' Up. They probably won't arrive till mid to late December. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but in the meantime, we still have a lot of Christmas to do, right? Um, I wanted to tell you guys that I have a couple of paper pumpkins left. I think I have three left, brand new. Um, the gingerbread kit, they are $25. That includes shipping. If you would like one, please message me and I will get them out to you as soon as possible. So hopefully you'll get it before Christmas, okay? Um, and also, I unpacked my Christmas, my um, house Christmas decorations, and um, in one of the boxes was a paper pumpkin from last year, and it's still sealed. I don't even remember, does it say on the end, winter gifts, November 2019. I don't know why I packed it with my Christmas decorations, but anyway, 
It's brand new. Let me open it. If anybody wants it, I'll be happy to sell it. $25 shipped. Um, it's tags, a bunch of tags, really cute tags with a little stamp set and a spot. All right, so if you are interested in that um, paper pumpkin kit, it's $25 shipped. I will seal up the box and send it to you. All right, so if you want either one, the Gingerbread Man kit or the November 19 Winter Gifts paper pumpkin, message me or email me. Tina, you want this one? The November one? Okay, Tina, message me or email me, all right? Okay, good. All right, I think I'm gonna flip you guys around and we'll get started. I've gotta show you some prizes too. Hold on, let me get you over here. Okay, Tina has claimed the November 2019 kit. It is yours, Tina. All right, so before I get to what we're doing today, how about we do prizes? And I think I might have screwed up on prizes. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I know that this is the prize from Saturday. Snow Wonder is going to Kimberly Clinton. And Kimberly, I think I have your mailing address. I'm pretty sure. I asked if you guys had put up your Christmas tree yet. And she said she had not. That it was going to be going up this week. Um, I know some of you have your trees up. We got our tree up on Saturday. Feels good to have it done. It always kind of looms over me. It's so much work. Um, actually, I take that back. My kids put up the tree on Thursday while I was in the shower. It came out and the tree was up. But all the other stuff, we did that on Saturday. You know, all the, really the main decorations. Anyway, Kimberly Clinton, this is yours. I do believe I have your mailing address. Um, if not, I'll email you and ask you. All right. Then I found these in my <laughs> cabinet and I... I was thinking these were supposed to be the prizes from the last Facebook Friday, but then I went back and I'm not sure. I may have switched around prizes. Anyhow, I picked two people from last Facebook Friday, and it's Patricia Coates and Lisa Keen. You both have won the Christmas Means More, and I think I have both of your mailing addresses, and I think I saw Patricia jump on here earlier. So congratulations, ladies. Thank you for sharing my video. I will get those out to you. All right, today I have a bundle to give away. Patricia, there you are. Yay, congratulations. Um, the Sweetest Time Bundle. We have used this quite a bit last week, so I'm going to give one of these away. All you have to do is go over to pinkbuggeroo.com, scroll down um, underneath, um, well, it's down towards the bottom. It'll say click this link to enter, and all you have to do is answer a question and give me your name and email address, and I will pick somebody at random to win this tomorrow, all right? Now, speaking of tomorrow, you guys, I need to adjust the time for tomorrow. My housekeeper, my cleaning lady, she's she's coming tomorrow, and she's usually not gone by 2 o'clock, and I just realized that today. So I'm going to bump tomorrow to 3 o'clock, okay? 3 o'clock central, all right, CST. So then we're going to do some poinsettia petals projects tomorrow. So 3 o'clock central tomorrow, okay? Um, I told you guys we might need to be a little flexible. Um, she's, she's awesome, but my dogs are crazy when she's here and she's vac vacuums and stuff when I'm live. And so I'm just gonna wait till she leaves. Okay. So tomorrow, three o'clock central instead of two o'clock. All right, let's get started. Now today we're going to make two projects using, and I keep wanting to call it the Mary and Bright. Um, Marsha, it's pinkbuckaroo.com. That's my blog. That's where you can go over there. And uh, Jennifer, essential worker, are you talking about my housekeeper? Yeah, she is essential to me for sure. She, she is, She's a lifesaver. She's amazing. She helps me do what I do. Um, anyhow, this is what we're doing today. And I keep wanting to call it Mary and Bright, but it's not Mary and Bright. It's peace and joy. I don't know why. I guess because... Mary and Bright is, are some of the words on here. I love this. I love word art. And this is, I, I have felt like we needed a stamp set that cut out the words for a, a while, stamped words. Um, and I was so excited to see it. So that's what we're going to use today. Um, we're going to make a slider box and a card. But I want to mention before I get started that today is the deadline to get um, projects from Friday, Saturday, and today. Um, you will get this one and this one 
and this one. These will be your three make and takes. If you put in your order by Monday, that's today at midnight, I'm using this host code, okay? And then tomorrow we'll start over and I'll have another order. Um, it pro it'll probably be a new host code starting tomorrow and you'll get three projects, one from Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, okay? Does that make sense? All right, so here are these. I'm going to put these away. If you miss these, there are videos on my blog and my YouTube channel. You can go over there and see them. All right, let me clear off some space. Oh, and this is what they look like, by the way. I always keep a, a packet to show you. I um, send you all the paper and the embellishments that you need. You'll need the stamps and dies. You can always substitute whatever you have. Um, you'll need, like for this project, you'll need the dies and the stamps. I don't stamp anything for you. Um, but again, substitute what you have if you don't have them, okay? Alrighty, now let me move this and this and this. Thanks for sharing, Mary, Mary Ann. I appreciate that. All right, Carly, you need a housekeeper. You do. I'm telling you, best money I spend all month. <laughs> it really, I mean, I'm not a good house cleaner and messes stress me out and then I become like crazy and grouchy so she is wonderful she um she's been with me for a really long time and she takes really good care of us all right so we're gonna make this slider box and I actually made this one in the summer in August I was gonna use it for something and then I never used it and so suddenly I was second guessing myself we haven't made this right <laughs> no we haven't um and so it has been sitting literally on my desk since august and so now is the time to do it the what i have in here are these mini andy's chocolates and i can't remember where i got this so i think that i got them at cvs because they have all those little like 100 calorie um chocolates that you can get so i wanted to make it so that number one, I stopped using this paper because I <laughs> apparently am addicted to this pattern paper. So I made a new one using a different pattern, still from the same packet and still super cute. But I also wanted to use one of the Christmas candies that you can easily find. And these are the Snickers trees just from Walmart. You know, they make these for all the holidays and it actually fits. They're actually the exact same size. Um, the Snickers is a little bit of a tighter fit. Um, and this one's a little bit, you can see um, there's space in there. So either one, um, you might even find other things that will go in there, okay? All right, so let's get started. This, this project is not a super simple project, I will tell you that. However, once you make one, they get a lot easier. Um, I always have to really kind of concentrate on what I'm doing. Um, so that I don't mess it up. So hopefully today <laughs> I will concentrate and I won't mess it up. Now the measurements are over on my blog under the photos. I have photos of both of them over there. Um, my their measure the measurements are there for you. Okay, so you can hop over there and grab the measurements. No PDF. It's just there on the blog post. You're gonna need a piece of real red that is eight and a half by three and a half, and we're gonna score the long side at half an inch, two and a half four and a half, five and a fourth, seven and a fourth, and then eight. So there's a lot of measurements there. And when you look at it, you'll see that basically you're gonna make a box with a, a double side, All right? So you can see how that will fold like a box. And then you've got these two pieces over here that will fold together, and this one, folds in. Okay, so then our box will look like that. So let me do that again. Here's the half inch side that we scored first. Over here is the, the pieces that fold in to make your box. All right, and on this side, we're going to make it a double, kind of like a little tunnel there for the, the mechanism that's going to move our pieces. Okay, all right, so again, this is the side that we scored first, the half inch side, and we're gonna wrap um, a piece of cellophane around this section, okay? Now, I, you can use any kind of cellophane you want. This is um, a piece of my cello bags that I use to put my classes in. 
You can use our clear envelopes. You can use, we have great six by eight cello bags in our catalog. You can use anything you have around that's like this. I mean, I know I could go through my trash and probably find a package of something I threw away, okay? And so I cut it so that it's thinner than this section. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you just want it to, to be thinner than those two score lines. And I'm gonna wrap it around like this. And I'm gonna use tear and tape here. And I'm using tear and tape because I can see it. I feel like I have a little bit of be a better control of it than I would other adhesive. I have made these uh, with fast fuse in the past and our our um, our stamp and seal plus would work really well too but I like to the the tear and tape I have pretty good control all right so I've put a little piece on the end and I'm going to peel it off and fold this over okay now it's too long I know we're going to cut it all right I'm going to cut it so that it's fit right there and then let's make sure it goes around all right goes around now I like to kind of keep that seam there where it does it's not going to get caught on the edge so when I fold this in like all of this in a minute I want to make sure that let's put it on this side so that when we pull our little thing, it'll pull this to this end and then it'll go back, okay? So let's look at it again. Here's your half inch section and then here's the second section. Okay, now we're gonna adhere our little pull tabs. Um, the top one needs, I screwed this one up, you'll notice I screwed this one up. Um, well, Actually, no, I didn't. You really can't even tell. Did I? No, it actually looks right. I thought I screwed it up. The top one is going to be where you put your candy, okay? Um, oh, it, that's what I did last time. We got to see which one is our top one. You fold it in and see when it closes like this, which side is going to be the top part because it's going to fold like that. So this is the top part right here. See, I'm, I'm question, I'm double, I'm second guessing myself. Let's pull this back over here to this end. Now, for the pull tabs, you need to have two pieces um, to make it strong. One piece I have found is flimsy and it won't pull. So I have cut two uh, pieces of real red cardstock that are exactly the same size, and I'm just gonna adhere them together just to kind of thicken it up, to double it, okay? Um, Robin says, you can also cut strips from a plastic grocery bag. That's right, I have heard that, Robin. Yes, she is correct. Okay, so here's the first one. This one's gonna pull out like this. And again, I'm only gonna put adhesive on this end. I'm gonna use my Stampin' Seal Plus this time. And I'm gonna lay it down right on the edge there, and let's see if I pull it, all right. There we go. See how that works like that? All right, now this one is gonna come out this side and it's going to be the um, little tag end and so it's longer. Um, I'm gonna punch both of them. The measurements are over there. They're one and seven eighths by four and a half, these two. And the other one is one and seven eighths by three and a half. Okay, so let's punch these. We have made this box before. In the summer, I believe, we made this with the camping, didn't we? With a little um, trail mix. Okay, all right, so now let's look at it again. This one goes out this way. And so this one's gonna go out this way. So I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna put adhesive right here. And I'm gonna put that, let's make sure that's all the way in, tucked in. I'm gonna put that right there. Now, when you have two of them, they actually, it actually comes out easier. See how that works? Okay, ta-da! It worked. Okay, now I'm gonna take 
this um, tab right here. I'm going to put my stamp and seal plus. And we are going to hold on, hold on. Yes. <laughs> I always question myself. We're going to fold it over in half right there. Okay. So let me make sure we're still working. Yep. It's a little bit tight. I think I made my cello a little bit too wide, but we'll make it work. I hope. Uh oh. Uh oh. Everybody close your eyes. Don't look. What did I do? <laughs> I think I made my cello too tight, but that's okay. There we go. Well, it's not going back in. Uh oh. Hold, please. There we go. Why is it not doing that? Hmm. Well, we'll see. You know, I made three of them this weekend and they were all perfect. And I knew that it was going to get all crazy when I tried to do it on a live. I made the cello too wide. That's what I did. But that's okay. Once I get the candy in there, it'll be strong and it will work. I have faith. Please, God, let it work. <laughs> the problem is it's not going back in. Okay. I'm going to have to cut down that cello just a bit, everybody. We're keeping it real today. We're keeping it real. You just hold on and just know that when you screw up, you're not alone. Okay. Don't worry. We'll fix it. I may have to start over, but that's okay. All right, let's go back. Don't you love it when things don't go as planned? All right, let's try that again. I am sure that I'm gonna get this to work. That cello has to be just a little bit thinner then, then the two inches that it's thick, you know, like this is two inches and the cello really probably should be like an inch and a half. Look, see how nicely it slides. I think that, I think that will fix it. I hope it was catching on the sides. Nope, it's not. All right, well, we're going to move on. We're going to leave it like that because I will fix it when we are done, but I wanna show you the rest. This part, this last tab, you have to tuck that in behind that cello right there. All right, a little tuck. Oh yeah, Kayleen, I make a ton of mistakes. You should see my trash. I take my trash out of my office probably every other day. I have a lot of mistakes. All right, so tuck it in there like that. All right, now, when you slide these out, when your cello isn't too tight, you're gonna adhere that Snickers on the bottom. And then you're gonna have this cute little white paper right here that you're gonna adhere like that. And I stamped the, I don't know, what do you guys call those? Little fireworks, little starbursts, aren't they cute? All right, so let's make the top since the insides are making me mad and refusing to behave. I know we can do the top. All right, so I've cut a piece of that. This this is the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. And I'm gonna put that right there. One and seven eighths by three and three and three eighths. Ooh, no, I like this. This other pattern, the Hound's Tooth. It's really pretty right there. Okay, now let's do some stamping. This, this stamp set has three big words and then it has all these little words that you can make to go along with them. Um, but it also has these dies. So you can cut out the skinny and then the outline, which is what we're gonna do. And then there's even a bigger cloud that you can do around it, which I did not do because it was too big for this. All right, so we're gonna stamp the bright first in real red. All 
on Whisper White. Okay. And I'm also going to stamp those two words. Merry and bright. That's why I keep calling the stamp set Merry and Bright. All right, now we're going to cut that out using this one, the outline. And then out of real red, we're going to cut the real skinny one. And I'm going to use my favorite adhesive sheet. Okay, let's bring over my cut and emboss machine. You guys, it got really, really cold here. <laughs> and when I say that, I know some of you would laugh, but it's very cold here. Windy in, in the 40s, in the middle of the day here, it's unheard of, I'm telling you. It's very cold. I went outside just a little while ago to take some pictures, and it was very cold. My front yard sits in the shade all day, so it doesn't warm up very much. But it's nice in the summer when it's not blazing hot. Okay, let's run this through. So I put the adhesive sheet on the back of the Real Red so that that will turn that into a sticker. I love big bold word stamps too. They, they do make a statement and they're very trendy right now. On trend. All right, so let's see, we've got this. Will it stick? Oh, there we go, nice. Nice. All right, now I'm gonna stick this onto the words just to give it some more dimension. In the next project, we're not gonna stick it on anything. We're just gonna leave it skinny. But before I do this, I am gonna get my Wink of Stella. I feel like I've been using my Wink of Stella every single day lately. It's perfect for holiday projects, right? There we go. I'm gonna make this all glittery. The Wink of Stella is also great because it doesn't get glitter all over your craft space. <laughs> you know what they say about glitter, right? They say not nice things about glitter. But this glitter is, it's very nice. It doesn't, it doesn't get everywhere. There I go with red ink on my fingers again. I can't seem to use my real red without getting it all over me. All right, I'm gonna carefully pull this backing off. It's very delicate. Very delicate. 24, Karen, in Iowa. Yeah, I knew when I said that that there would be somebody who would laugh at me and say, it's much colder here. I, I couldn't live where it's that super cold. 32 and sunny now. You know, the sun really does make all the difference, doesn't it? It was windy here today. That's what was making it really, really cold. Super windy. All right. There we go, isn't that pretty? I love that. All right, so we're gonna adhere that on here and I'm gonna use some Tombow liquid. I think that will probably be the best bet. Just a little bit. Oh, that seemed like a little bit more than a little bit. And then I'm gonna get my little scissors and cut this out. I hope you all had a nice Thanksgiving holiday break. My kids did not want to go back to school today. Although they're going to be missing school on Friday. And because we're, we're going on a, just a little trip for my daughter's birthday. And the, they were all kind of, the well, the two younger ones were kind of put out that they had to miss school. So then this morning I'm saying, okay, why are we all super grouchy going about going back to school when you were mad that I was going to let you skip a day? Who knows? They're never happy. And my oldest goes every other day and she is <laughs> always looking for a reason not to go. She has senioritis, you know, senioritis is, is tough, but you know what? Sorry, Charlie, we all had to suck it up and live through our senior years. You don't get to come home every day because of something. That's what I told her. She didn't like that answer. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my um, striped ribbon. I always forget the color, is it Mossy Meadow? Yep, Mossy Meadow. It looks garden green to me. 
garden green, I mean, <laughs> mossy meadow striped ribbon. And, oh, one thing I wanted to show you also, if my box wasn't being stubborn, I wanna show you how I stuck the Snickers inside of here, okay? Let's see if I can get it to come out. Why is it not coming out? Oh, hello, I was pulling the wrong one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's why it wouldn't come out, you guys, because I'm an idiot and I would not. <laughs> it was pulling the end of this one. Lord, help me, help me, help me. Okay, look, I didn't screw it up. It, it was me all along and not the box. All right, one thing I saw um, Marissa Alvarez do on her project, she took Tombow and she went like this on the on her candy and then she set it aside and let it dry. Then it's tacky to the touch and you can stick it down on here because this glue um, is, what do they call it, mono. So when it dries, it's like um, almost repositionable. So then it's just stuck on there and they can pull it off and it's not gonna be terribly stuck. All right, so yay, look, I didn't screw it up. Well then let's finish it. Oh, 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 I forgot this too. Um, a star from the, the um, all the trimmings. Aren't those cute? I love those. So anyway, when this is dry, we'll set it in there, but it needs to dry. It takes a while for that to dry. And then we'll stamp. Oh, now my scissors are in the red, the real red. Then we'll stamp this little um, starburst. You know, I wonder what they would look like together. That's probably how they're intended. Like that. And that's where you can say, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, or whatever you want to say. Um, I think I've torn this box up. I'm going to have to redo it, I'm trying to fix my my own problems. But anyways, there they, I'm not even going to mess with that one. Let's look at the finished one. <laughs> Yay, look, it works. This one works too. That one worked too until I, I don't know what I did. Oh, you know, some days you just feel like, you know, done. Today is a Monday for sure. All right, there you guys go. I don't know if you want to attempt to make that box because I did a horrible job teaching you how to make that box. But there is a video over on my blog where we made a bigger one back in the summer. All right. And it worked perfectly. Anyhow, it's a cute box. It's complicated. I'm not sure I'd make a hundred of these. I might make five. In fact, this weekend I made three really pretty quickly. Once you do one, it's pretty easy, okay? All right, God, let's move on from that project. <laughs> let's please move on from that project. Okay, let me see. Um, just in case you guys missed at the beginning, um, tomorrow I am bumping our time to three o'clock central, so one hour later, okay? Um, it'll be three o'clock central, and tomorrow we're doing the poinsettia um, set, and I've got um, a cute little, little home decor project and a card for you, all right? Okay, now if you go and look up this set and you search on Instagram, you will find some beautiful cards. I know one, um, one of the concept artists at Stampin' Up! did one with a globe. And it's gorgeous. It's in some light pastel colors. And so I really wanted to do that um, with this stamp. I wanted to incorporate this globe from that the set that's in the annual catalog, the globe die. So that's what we're going to do. I'm also using the matching paper, the world, what's it called? World something. It's listed on my blog. You guys know I can never remember the darn names. Here's the globe set. We're gonna use adhesive sheets for that as well. We're also gonna use this embossing folder. I should pull up my blog post that I typed two days ago, and that way I'll know the names of everything. Usually I have my sheet here in front of me, but I don't today. Okay, so we're gonna do early espresso. Um, we're gonna 
emboss this early espresso, early espresso piece right here, okay? Then we're going to, I have already cut out from the map printed paper, a circle, so we've got that. I've got a brushed metallic star. And then we will cut, we will cut the um, globe. Whoops, I only need one of these adhesive sheets again. We're gonna cut the globe from crumb cake. And we're gonna do, really only the top one needs to be a sticker. Um, so we'll do that one there and we'll do the bottom circle there. And I think that's all we need from our cut and emboss machine. Um, speaking of cut and emboss machine, I think I told you guys last week that demonstrators get to pre-order the mini cut and emboss machine beginning tomorrow. So I will have it to show you hopefully by Thursday. I'm so super excited about it because it's cute and it's it's a baby. I'm going to call it the baby cut and emboss machine. You guys, if you're not a demonstrator, you will be able to order it in January. All right. Just in time for celebration. If you want to order it early, you can buy the starter kit and you can actually add it to your starter kit. I'm pretty certain that way you're getting a little bit of a discount, right? Because the starter kit is $99 and you get $125 product of your choice. So that could be part of it. Okay, so see, I'm going to line this up so that the trees are coming up towards the top of the paper. Actually, I think I even want to go down further. Because we're going to cover up most of this early espresso piece over here. So I want those trees to show up at the top. This is um, a 5 by... Now a five, five and a fourth by four piece of early espresso. And this is one of our thicker folders, our 3D folders. So you gotta use, you gotta take off plate number two and replace it. You don't put, you don't use the clear plates at all when you're doing the 3Ds. You put this on top of it, plate four, all right? Okay, now, there we go, we've got that. Let's bring over our, our world. Did you see that trick? Sometimes it works. If you just drop your die on the table, it might pop out. I think it works about 50% of the time. <laughs> okay, now let me get all these out. All the doodads. You guys, we watched, I finished The Crown season four this week, or last week, the weekend really, and we watched The Queen's Gambit. If you are looking for something to watch, I highly recommend both. I'm sure most of you have seen The, the Crown, but The Queen's Gambit is so good. It's a limited series on Netflix. I think there are nine episodes all right, see how I, I peeled that backing? So it was a sticker and I stuck it to the crumb cake, the crumb cake circle. All right, so the Queen's Gambit, highly, highly recommend. We are making our way through lots of shows right now. If you have Disney Plus, you need to watch The Right Stuff. It's about the um, astronauts. Um, oh, the Mercury 7 very good as well. We've we've had we've had a really good streak of shows lately. Michelle, you're watching the Crown the Crown right now. Yeah, so good. So good. Um Tia, what stamp set is retired? What did I miss? The Stitch Stars. Oh, the Stitch Stars, yeah. I thought you were talking about the Globe set. All right, I'm going to put my Stitch Star there. Yeah, the Stitch Stars dies are still available. And I'm going to put this here with a dimensional. Oh, my goodness, I forgot to cut the word, the joy. So we're going to have to bring that guy back over. And we're going to we're gonna do the same thing with the adhesive sheet. Hopefully, you guys have added adhesive sheets to your, your order at some point. I'm not sure if I will ever be able to not use adhesive sheets. They're so good. So, so good. They turn anything into a sticker. The Undoing, Carol, that's what we're going to watch next. 
I heard it was excellent. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Sounds like a, a murder thriller mystery, right? And people are acting like it's like one of the best things I've ever seen. So I can't wait to give that a try. That That's what we're going to start tonight. Uh-oh, dropped it. Um, we also watched His Dark Materials, which is based on the Golden Compass. Has Lin-Manuel Miranda, who my husband is obsessed with because he is obsessed with Hamilton. And so <laughs> we had to watch that. And I was like, I didn't really want to watch it, but it was good. It's it's not done. Um, I think they must be releasing one episode a week. We, we watched about one and a half seasons and then it stopped. Um, Jennifer Cobra Kai, we love that too. <laughs> Oh, and Virgin River, Carrie, I'm watching that on my own. I actually watched season one of that when it first came out, and I'm re-watching it so that I can remember. You know, because it goes so long between the seasons. So I go back and watch the last season before I watch the new season. Yeah, Joy, Sweet Magnolias was good, 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 too. Very good. I, I loved that one. And if you haven't watched Heart of Dixie, I'm telling you guys, it is a silly little show that was, I think it was like on the CW at some point, and it's on Netflix, but the, it's, it's going away December 14th, so you probably don't have time to watch all of it, but I love that show, Heart of Dixie. I know some of you have started watching it. It is going away December 14th. I'm so sad because it's one of those that I can just have on in the background you know, and just playing. You don't really have to pay too close attention. I love that show. So cute. It's, I told my mom, it's kind of like Gilmore Girls, not really in the storyline, but kind of in the goofy little small town, you know, antics that go on. It's cute. Okay. So what I have done while I'm busy chatting away about TV or Netflix shows is I stamped the sentiment in early espresso on Whisper White and I cut it out with my scissors. And for some reason I cannot get that many dimensional to not stand out. All right, so I cut it out with my scissors and I'm just gonna put it right there. Joy to the world. Now let's get our card base. And, oh, you guys watched it, right? Joy, you talking about um, the end of Heart of Dixie? Is that what you're talking about? Oh my gosh, so good. I loved it. I got choked up. So dumb. So silly for me to get choked up, but I loved it. Loved it. All right. Dimensionals on the card base like that. We're almost done. We're almost done. Um, housewives. I haven't gotten into the Housewives. I don't know, but the Housewives of Salt Lake City is tempting. I love Salt Lake City. That one sounded pretty, um, I don't know, enticing. All right, I, reality TV, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I want to escape. You know, I don't want reality when I watch TV. <laughs> okay, so there's the gold cord. That's the Wonder of the Seasons ribbon pack. I love that gold cord. And then I'm going to add just a few little gilded gems. And then that's it. So this is kind of a untraditional um Christmas card. It doesn't have your red and green, but it does have joy to the world. What do you guys think? I love this card. I like that it's a different color. And then we'll bring over the naughty box. Oh, my, my um, Snickers looks like it's almost dry. Let's see. Something is happening here. It's not staying down. Ugh. I'm gonna, when you guys, when we get off, this is going right in the trash. I'm so mad at it. But look, let's go ahead and put this in here. Right there. And pretend like it worked like it was supposed to. It did. I don't know why it wasn't. There we go. <laughs> you guys, thank you for hanging with me today. Whew, I'm sweating now. That was stressful. Who, you know, whatever. That's the way it goes. And hopefully that shows you guys that. Sometimes you screw it up and that's okay because I do a lot. <laughs> I screw it up a lot. All right, you guys. So remember, if you would like, let's see, let's look at the three that you're going to get. If you put in an order by Monday at midnight, which is tonight, I keep saying that tonight, you're going to get this one as a make and take. 
this one and this one, okay? And then tomorrow we'll start over with three new projects. Um, reminder, tomorrow, three o'clock central, okay? Three o'clock central, not two o'clock. And then um, Friday I'll be off. So we'll do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week, two o'clock central the other two days, okay? <sighs> you guys, thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to go enter for the prize and I will pick a winner tomorrow. Bye guys.